Hands up and down. Push the same for two hours, right? That's right. And so we talked about community relations, we talked about what it is we've been doing here locally, we talked about the launch of the People's Police Academy that took place here in the 4-7 precinct. Mm -hmm. The next one is going to be rolling out in Brooklyn in the 7-9 precinct that Dr. Devon Fryer will be spearheading, and we're in part two of our rollout here in the community, so please play the video, and then we'll have a dismissal prayer right after that. Um, in the meantime, I'm asking our commissioner if you would like to join us in the back or watch the video. I'll just find this in a good time. And the recruitment table is in the back, by the way. So anyone who's interested in taking the test, if you know someone, the recruitment table is in the back right now. Thank you. It's simply to burn down any walls That's that not from the beginning us from engaging effectively to create safe. The vision of the People's Police Academy is simply to burn down any walls that keeps us from engaging effectively to create safer communities for the residents as well as the police officers that serve us. We would love to be your first introduction so that you can understand culture, race from our perspective. Let's talk about the violence and the gangs from our perspective. I would definitely recommend other officers to participate in this academy. It would give them the opportunity to put themselves in the shoes of the people who live in this community, people who teach in this community, people who even preach in this community. It's very important to think about things uh, historically and theoretically, as well as in the day-to-day -day practices of the police and what the police uh, should be doing as to their training. So it's, it's a sort of supplemental kind of knowledge uh, that I think uh, will make uh, police officers uh, uh, more um, accountable to the community, and more effective uh, in their work practices, um, and also you know, help them to value their own experience uh, and to think seriously about what their, their own day-to-day -day interactions uh, with the community really, really mean. Um, we have a good relationship with the community as it is, specifically uh, schools in the area. We know a lot of the kids um, today, specifically we talked about um, communicating with gang members on the street and not treating them all as criminals. And I think this initiative of letting the community speak in these, in, you know, to the police and the academies is the beginning of change, where we start to see each other as equals and part of the same community.